Hey, this is Red Band coming to you live from the real and famous comedy store main room for our brand new episode of Kill Tony. Give it up for Tony. It's great. Hi, everybody. Come on, make some fucking noise. Here we are. It's Monday night. You're at the number one live podcast in the world. Brian Redband sitting right next Holla. to me. The great Ryan J. E. Belt is drawing tonight's episode. I'm excited about the state of Kill Tony. So much fun oh stuff gosh. happening. Welcome, welcome, everybody. You guys excited to be here? Absolutely. Kill Tony's taking over America. Uh, this Thursday, we're doing a Kill Tony live in Phoenix, Arizona. Uh, we're doing stand-up after that for a couple days at the Tempe Improv. All of us uh, doing stand-up. April 21st is Nashville, Tennessee. Kill Tony, yeah. live in Nashville. I'm also doing stand-up in Providence between there, and I'm doing stand-up in Salt Lake City and Spokane. Uh, Salt Lake City with Jeremiah, Spokane with Josh Martin, and... We announced three new Kill Tonys last week, and I am about to announce another one right now. Kill Tony is going to, on May 11th, Las Vegas, Nevada. Vegas has wanted a Kill Tony for almost five years. They got one. You ready for this? Another Kill Tony on the road. We are returning to San Francisco, California on May 19th. We sold out San Fran just about a year ago. We had so much fun with... Uh, the new parents, Moshe Kesher and Natasha Legero, and uh, so that's exciting. Don't forget, Kill Tony's also in Fort Wayne, Indiana. That is August 9th, and September 22nd, Detroit, Michigan gets its Fuck own yeah. Kill Tony. And should we announce the guest for that show? Our guest comedian uh, for Detroit's Kill Tony, live from the Motor City Comedy Festival, will be Danny Brown. Yeah. Rapper sensation, friend okay. of the show. Fucking unbelievable. It's going to be so much fun. It's going to be so much fun. And Fort Worth, Texas. You have your own Kill Tony on September 29th. And don't forget Los Angeles, June 18th is the five year anniversary of Kill Tony. Have fun here in the main room. That's going to be a blowout. You're going to get to see the new brand spanking new regular, Malcolm, here tonight. And the five year anniversary. We made him the uh, regular just last week, pretty spontaneously. It felt God. right. Are you hiring? Are you posting your position to job sites and waiting and waiting for the right people to see it? ZipRecruiter knows what you're looking for, identifies people with the right experience, and invites them to apply to your job. In fact, 80% of employers who post a job on ZipRecruiter get a quality candidate through the site in just one day. The right candidate is out there. ZipRecruiter is how you find them. That's right. And ZipRecruiter doesn't stop there. They even spotlight the strongest applications that they receive so you never miss a great match. Businesses of all sizes trust ZipRecruiter for their hiring needs. And right now, our listeners can try ZipRecruiter for free. That's right, free. Just go to ZipRecruiter.com slash KillTony. That's ZipRecruiter.com slash KillTony. ZipRecruiter.com slash KillTony. ZipRecruiter. The smartest way to hire. You know, it's really good. My uh, my girlfriend actually used it and found a job, and it's it's way better than the other places. It, uh, it can really help you to live your dreams. Yeah. You know, and a dream is just a great idea that doesn't have a website yet. <laughs> Make it a reality with Squarespace. You can create a beautiful website to turn your cool idea into a new website, showcase your work. I use I use uh, Squarespace. I've made my website shopsquad.tv. That's where you can get the uh, Kill Tony shirt. It's really easy. It's drag and drop. You can make a store. You can sell things. And it's nowadays making a website isn't scary. It's more like just having a Facebook almost. We it's really both, we both use Squarespace. Yeah. All the tickets for all those Kill Tonys that we just announced are both being held out on Squarespace websites, Death yep. Squad and uh, TonyHinchcliffe.com. Mm -hmm. And if you head to Squarespace.com right now, you get a free trial when you're ready to launch. Use the offer code KILL to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. That's squarespace.com. Enter the code KILL and you save all that money. It's so easy. My mom actually made one in less than an hour. That's how easy it is. I was just on the phone going, all right, now do this, do that. Go my mom it. made one too and my mom also makes the best spaghetti sauce huh. in the world. It's I don't know if you know this, sometimes she freezes it and sends it to me in a frozen container all the way from Youngstown, Ohio. Right. I let it thaw out, I mm -hmm. make it myself and it's so delicious. And a lot of the other, that's like what, three meals out of the year though. Right. A lot of the other time you have to improvise. That's why I go with Blue Apron. <laughs> they deliver fresh pre-portioned ingredients and step-by-step -step recipes right to your door that can be cooked under 45 minutes. 
The menu changes every week based on what's in season and is designed by Blue Apron's in-house culinary team. Yeah, and they give you these really cool, like, you know, recipes, like these books yep. uh, or these sheets. And if you really like the recipe, you just keep it and you can remake it. Uh, we had Phillies last night. Yeah. And I've never made, you know, I've always used steakums. So I yeah. never really made a Philly from, like, real meat and stuff. Philly cheesesteak. Philly cheesesteak. Yeah. And fuck, it was so good. So delicious. Yeah. I mean, uh, one of the recipes I had was the uh, chicken and baked broccoli. Oh, and yes. the, the, they made the baked broccoli. The recipe is so good. I've been eating broccoli like four times a week now because I, I, I just bake broccoli, squeeze a little lemon on it, some salt and pepper afterwards. It's unbelievable. Healthy snack, you know, makes you feel good eating healthy. Blue Apron's a great way to do that. So gassy, though. And yeah. Blue Apron is treating Kill Tony <laughs> listeners to 30% off your first order if you visit blueapron.com slash Kill Tony. So check out this week's menu and get $30 off at blueapron.com slash Kill Tony. Blue Apron, a better way to cook. You guys ready to start this motherfucking show or what? That's right. A lot of plugs on this one, because you're at the number one live podcast in the world. And just like we've given you every single week, uh, forever, there's always a hilarious band and uh, always two of the funniest comedians in the world are here for you. And tonight is no different. Our brothers from many different mothers from New York City, you've been on, they've been on this show many a times, the leaders of Skankfest and the Legion of Skanks and the Bonfire and all the great things that they do. Put your hands together for the great and powerful Big J Okerson and Louis J Gomez. Here we go. They're back. Yeah. Woo. Skank hands. I don't even know how to do it exactly 100% right. Welcome back, gentlemen. They're here. Thank you. Thank you for having us. Welcome back, guys. What's up, Los Angeles? Let's get some fucking energy in this place. Yeah, that's we're, what I'm talking about. We're about to ruin some comedian dreams. I love it. Lewis is a Puerto Rican cheerleader for everything. <laughs> Come on, you fuckers. Fail it. Uh, you guys are uh, masters of the craft. And on top of everything, my favorite thing in the world, the comedian built by Luis J. Gomez, I think especially over there, really has a lot of dirt on his hands from this project. Last year, we raved about it on this show for fucking months. Skankfest is coming up again. The second annual Skankfest yeah. Comedy Festival. A festival truly built by comedians for comedians. And I know that sounds like an ad that I'm reading, but <laughs> from the heart, it's the coolest fucking show. And that kickoff party is the 13th of July this year. And the festival goes from the 14th to the 15th. Unconfirmed rumors that Kill Tony will be reappearing oh, there, even shit. though we guaranteed that we would be back next year on last year's episode live because we had so much fun during it. Who knows it. what's going to happen at this year's Skank Fest? Anything can happen. Bigger and better. All we know is that we would love to have Kill Tony there if the powers that be can right. make this shit. If come Ari together. Shafir lets it happen, oh, then yeah. we will be. Yeah, there. he's in charge this year. I heard. Yes. Did you? Yeah. <laughs> Did you guys? Were you there last year through the entire? The whole week, yeah, the, the, shirt whole, the naked roast battle, yeah, yeah. The, the poop and the piss, there's and the blood, blood and piss. So you know, get a flight now if you can. <laughs> Hell yeah. Uh, and hopefully, uh, if we make it out there, hopefully some of uh, the band members will be there. I know Jeremiah was there last year, and uh, and he's part of this whole crazy thing. We have a band on this show. Every single week, they commit to doing different characters and do jokes through those characters. You never know what's going to happen with them. Here they are. It's the best damn band in the land, the Kill Tony Band. Pat Reagan, Jeremiah Watkins, Joel Jimenez, Joel Berg, and Chroma Chris, the Kill Tony Band. Here we go. Oh, wow. Nerds, for sure. Wow, look at this. That is incredible. Fuck yeah. They're definitely nerds tonight. I'm very excited about this. We have uh, Jeremiah Watkins uh, looking like Ronald McDonald before he puts the makeup on. Uh, Pat Reagan doing his best uh, D.B. Cooper impression, jumping out of planes. We have Joelberg, who's clearly the lady that shot Selena. <laughs> bitty, bitty, bam, bam. <laughs> Tony Hinchcliffe in his baby blue jumper. Uh, 0 for 1 over there, nerd. You fucking dork. All right, so the band is in session, and uh, what else? Should we just get this fucking thing started? Everything's in position. 
We have a bucket filled with names, and uh, we pull the name out of the bucket, a comedian, perhaps it's a crazy person, it's their first time, maybe it's a genius, and they've been doing it 30 years, and this is their first time in L.A., you never know what's going to happen. If I pull your name out of the bucket, you get 60 seconds of stage time. Wrap it up then, or I'll sure going to bring out the kitten. Meow. <laughs> <laughs> so stupid. You had one job. Uh, and uh, wrap it up then, or I'm sure going to bring out the angry West Hollywood bear. Rawr! So I guess we just don't have sound effects tonight. All these ads that I read, and clearly we're working off of an old iPad. Um, so let's just get this party started. Do you, do you, you want one of us to take a look at that? Oh, you know how to fix that? Yeah. Oh, shit. Oh, look like somebody's one for one now. Oh, well, actually, if you were a real nerd, you would know that the statistic would be one for two. And, and if you were a real and, nerd, and you'd you, know that that's you, not a statistic. <laughs> and you would know the real differences between a positive and a negative. <laughs> <laughs> Okie dokie. You guys ready to start this show or what? We got the Legion of Skanks, a bunch of nerds, Josh Martin running around. Here we are. Oh, my hand goes in the bucket. And your first comedian getting to perform an uninterrupted 60 seconds tonight. Wow! Look at the black Sharpie ink. It's been a while since we've seen her. The queen of uh, some of the great personalities that we've met. The, one of the baddest bitches on the planet. I believe she's like 65 fucking years old. Put your hands together for the great and powerful, one of our favorites. It's Aphrodite, ladies and gentlemen. Holy shit. Here we go. I feel like this is going to be a fun night. How y'all doing? I got a PCA announcement. A Dr. King PCA announcement for the white people. Y'all got to stop touching my afro. I done told you white people this is $29.95. There's no excuse for messing up black people's afro. Go in the hood and get you one for $29.95. Okay. I don't need to keep telling y'all this. I got another thing, PCA announcement, about what happened to me as a little kid going to these schools being bust out with the little white children. They trying to touch us with the little white hands and touching our afros. What's wrong with y'all white people? I'm serious. You're traumatizing me with this now. I can't take it no more. Had to fight the little white children, beat their little white ass on the playground. And then they got cool. They got cool. Because we don't play, we don't play. Don't be calling us that N word. We'll get y'all white people eventually. It's more of y'all than it is us. That's all right. Thank you. Fuck yeah. All right. Hell yeah. How okay. many children have touched your afro this week, Aphrodite? What's going on over there? I don't know what's going on. They all want to come up to me like I'm white Jesus and be trying to touch my afro. How tall are these children that they can touch your afro? <laughs> or do they go to Harlem Globetrotters? I didn't figure that out yet, Tony. I didn't figure that out yet. Wow. You know, the little great children from the little... You, you have that, that thing that you did last time where you're like... Bah, 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 you like those pitches when you, you, you do your material. Anyway, uh, so... <laughs> All right, yeah. Hey, if it doesn't work once, try it again. Statistically, that is a good thing to do. <laughs> Thank you, Jeremiah. Tony, I, I've heard of Black Panther, but Black Cougar, this is ridiculous. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I'm the real cool Big J, is this your first time seeing Aphrodite? No, I've seen her before, and I'm glad to see she's recovering nicely from those Ike Turner beatings. <laughs> and... Oh, man, that... That's cold blooded. I shot the shit out of Ike. That's why everything's good. <laughs> no, Aphrodite, I like you. You got comedy like Plat Al, if I can describe it anyway. Oh. Plat Al. Thank you. <laughs> Thank Louis, you. Louis J., what do you think about Aphrodite? Up uh, here? I got to be honest with you. I did not understand a word you said. <laughs> I, I don't know if it was the angle of the speakers, but it was, uh, you know, it was very confusing. But I didn't, uh, for some reason, I laughed the whole time. <laughs> Because all you heard yeah, was like, like mm, yeah, well, that, 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 that now, sugar. Yeah. How yeah. do you not laugh at that cadence? I you know like I what it was? To, I feel like I was supposed to order food from you at a diner <laughs> in the 50s. Mm, See, you were busy looking at my... you want right now, I'll bring all the butter. <laughs> <laughs> no, you got sidetracked by my 250-pound ass. That's why you didn't understand what I said. I was staring at that ass. Wow. wow. The ass it alone is 250 pounds, by the way. <laughs> uh, Aphrodite, I, mean, I guess I... 
I, I agree with Louis J a bit. I really don't understand really exactly a lot that you were saying. Um, so, is the Afro 2995? Is that what you're saying that you I'm buy I'm trying it? to convince white people they ain't got to keep messing up my Afro. I work hard at this. What's 2995? That's repeating. how much it costs to get one of these. Man, I can't believe to I get paid one more of the, for my wig. To get one of those what? Like to get Afros. A, to get it, is that separate from your hair? Is that your hair? I told you it's crazy glued on. It's twenty nine ninety five. Oh. I paid that much for it. You actually use crazy glue? Hell yeah. No, she uses regular glue, but when she uses it, it's crazy glue. <laughs> <laughs> All her glue is crazy glue. You can't have the wind blowing your afro down the street and shit. <laughs> Once again, that was one of the times I didn't know what she said. Jeremiah? I heard the wind blowing down the afro down the street and shit. Jeremiah? The moment's passed, Tony. <laughs> <laughs> so, wow. How often do you have to replace your Afro with a new one? Well, actually, you can keep it a while if you wash it, you know. So I got a new one already. Is that real hair? Is it? It's really twenty nine ninety five. No, it's not, re it's not real hair. I don't hair. need to know a woman's every secret. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> it's hey. drain gatherings. Hey, hey, Tony. <laughs> yes. Hey, can I, can I hit on Aphrodite? Is that allowed? Yeah, go ahead, you nerd. <laughs> okay. Um, He's Af coming already. Af <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, Aphrodite, uh, I'm an astronomist, and I would love to study your black hole. Oh! Ah! Yeah! Ah. Yeah, baby. Aphrodite, what would you do to this little boy if you got ha if you took him back to your place? What well, would you, you know do? how I do shit. it with the white people. I gotta take his wallet first. Oh shit! Hell yeah! <laughs> yeah. I feel like uh, you you were like you remind me of Big J's impression of a black woman. <laughs> What's your impression? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's working! Look at that! Look at that! Keep on, keep on singing. Keep on singing. Was that twenty nine ninety five? No, no. This is gonna cost you some Donald Trump motherfucking money. <laughs> Donald Trump money. Yeah, this shit ain't cheap. Oh wow. Fuck. <laughs> Here's the truth, Tony. You want? Let me give you some positive about Aphrodite. This is the truth. Un undoubtedly, she's a funny person. Very yeah. funny person. You don't. That that is one thing that I think is lost in comedy today. I think you have to be funny. Day one, all of your friends have to think you're a funny motherfucker. Everyone has to say to you, hey, you're really the funniest person we know. You should do this. And I think 90% of the comics, they weren't that person. And I think that is the most important fucking thing. And whereas, I don't know how long you've been doing comedy, super confident. I don't know what the fuck you're saying. Over super a year confident. Now. Over a year, that's incredible because you're, you're, you're making people laugh. You're super entertaining. If you could slow down and learn how to speak the English language. Oh, hell If no. you could make yourself understandable to just three people in this audience. Yeah. And, and that's you could change lives. Yeah. To her credit, she can't hear what she's saying because it's covered in hair. That's, that's right. And plus, I have trouble with the English language. The English language is not easy for us. Legalized Africa. slave? What is yeah. that? Your yeah. Yahoo password? What the hell? Oh. Legalized yeah. slavery? <laughs> uh, uh, Aphrodite, how do you sleep at night? How do you keep that thing so round? You have like a you sleep in like a massage That's chair or something? That's her pillow. It's built into her head. No, I spray it with like like a Lysol and what? Lysol. Yeah. Oh, shit. <laughs> is that strange or something? She yes. doesn't sleep in there. That's on a cardboard cutout of herself next to her bed. <laughs> yeah. No, it's got embalming fluid in it. That's how I get Obama it. Obama fluid? Yeah. It, mm hmm That'll what work. That's my story. I'm sticking to it. Four more years. What's, what's Obama fluid? Well, you know, you get dead and they embalm you. You get dead. Embalming fluid. Embalming. 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 Guys, it's embalming fluid. Obama. Come on, I was like, did, don't they do that? I thought it was a new, a new brand of grape yeah. drink. Did President Obama jerk off in your hair? Yeah. <laughs> Obama fluid. Oh, uh, unrelated, yes. <laughs> yeah. You spray it with embalming fluid? Yeah, you don't want it to fold while you're sleeping. You got to embalm it. What the fuck? Oh, my God. Wow. Did this I say is, something wrong? This nope. Is, this is some dark shit up here. <laughs> <laughs> I can't I do, I do so well. Dark. All right. Embalming fluid. Where do you buy embalming fluid at? The mortuary. Where else you go get this shit? From her PCP dealer, obviously. <laughs> yeah. yes, so. I know people dip joints into a bombing fluid. Yeah, they yeah. call it sherm. Oh, you do that? Have you ever done that? No, I'm strictly marijuana. Fuck all this psychedelic shit. I ain't trying to go crazy. <laughs> I'm already over 60. That's crazy motherfucking enough right there. Wait, how old are you? 
I'll be 63 in October. Ew. Holy yeah, shit. Yeah. Wow. I still got that ass. Hey. <laughs> Fuck yeah, you do. My ass is 25. You're going to break a hip. <laughs> <laughs> All right. After I'll be breaking dirty. motherfuckers off. You know? Everything else in life good? You're having fun? Oh, man. I'm singing with Top Shelf Brass Band. I love you that. Know. The brass band that was here Thank one you, night. Jeremiah. Oh yeah, yeah, there you go. He's still calming. All right, yeah, after yeah, yeah. Well, it was Can fun. I give you one little line from my last song, please? Oh, Jesus, you little sixty-three-year-old turn into a little baby girl just now. Your baby will go go Sure, go go go. She wore a sequin uh, shirt. Go ahead, uh, uh, ladies and gentlemen, giving us a little line from her uh, new show. It's uh, the powerful it's Aphrodite. Hey hey hey, keep on going, baby. You don't answer your phone. Oh, 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 keep on playing with me, baby. Soon I'll be gone. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. There you go. There you go. Hell yeah. And we're rolling. Aphrodite, ladies and gentlemen. Rolling. She's on Twitter at Aphrodite Love. Rolling on a river. There she rolling. goes. Rolling. Rolling. <laughs> That, Roly, Roly. that that high, that high pitched scream could make a baby deer come. <laughs> you would know you're an astrophysicist. A hey, Jeremiah. What nerd info. A hey, Jeremiah. This is an impression of a black woman clearing her throat. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. <laughs> That's my nerd Patty breaking right there. All right, I pulled another name out of the bucket. Put your hands together for Michael Regilio. Here we go. He's coming to the stage. Michael Regilio, ladies and gentlemen, Hello. come on. Clap your hands for him. It's Michael Regilio. Thank you. You guys, I'm going to try. I'm going to try very hard to put a little energy into this set, but to be honest with you, I ate something last night that didn't really agree with me. Uh, it was a feminist, so um, no big deal there. Hey, I have a new favorite drink. I don't know if they make it here. It's called the JFK. It's real simple. It's just three shots that idiots won't shut up about. So no big deal there. Uh, let's see. I went to an all-lesbian stand-up comedy show the other night, uh, or as I like to call it, a play. A play there. Um... I was going to tell you guys about the hardest day of my life. Um, five boners, so none too shabby there. Um, I was in a restaurant the other night. A uh, waiter was a Mexican gentleman. Towards the end of the meal, he came up to me and said, ah, excuse me, you Finnish? I said, no, Italian. So I cleared that right up. Is that a minute? There you go. There you go, Michael Rogelio. Got it. 60 seconds. Fun little one-liners there, man. How long have you been doing stand-up? Uh, four years, uh, April 1st. First yeah. ever open mic was April Fool's Day, four years ago. Very cool. Well, I've been yeah. on the show twice. You don't remember. Yeah, what, did, I, what yeah. did we find out about you? Uh, <sighs> Zero killer. Well, uh, the first time uh, uh, we talked about my job, the Mustard Seed Cafe, where Joel is my Michael employee. is my boss. Really? <laughs> You're Joelberg's boss? Yeah. Holy oh, shit. how awesome is it for Joelberg to have to just watch you be a fucking bitch up here? <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, take it, take that, Lewis. Mr. Smith. Wait, wait, wait. Wasn't Joelberg just fired? No. Only from the weekend. He, yeah, that's not called getting fired. It's called losing a shift, you melodramatic bitch. Oh. oh. Personality wow. shift. Joelberg's a bitch. Joe bitch. <laughs> wow. Stop bullying my friend! What a twist. <laughs> Big J, thoughts on this guy? I couldn't tell. Uh, for uh, uh, Very funny shit, by the way. But I Thank didn't know if I was, like, talking to, like, a truck stop drifter or, like, a rich kid from Redondo. I didn't know. He, he's Does everybody me, hate those people? He's me if I evolved on the Pokemon chart one more level. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Jeremiah. Uh, last time I was on, Big J was on, and you said I looked like a hot chick at a laundromat, so I guess I've devolved quite a bit. <laughs> no, I'd fuck you at a laundromat. All right, there you go. What are you going to do, dude? 45 minutes for whites? Come on. <laughs> Michael, uh, so you're the manager at a restaurant, yeah. 
And uh, what else do you do? What do you do for fun? Like any He's hobbies? He's a scientist from Independence Day. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, he is. Oh. <laughs> That's so random. Someone just Jeff lost, lost another, another shift. another shift, motherfucker. <laughs> I am wow. fired. All right. Yeah. How, how is Joel as an employee, though? Is he's he pretty terrible. Pretty lazy. Love him. Yeah. Back to no, uh, hobbies and uh, pastimes. I'm a musician. I'm a yeah. musician. What kind of uh, instrument do you play? I play the guitar like Mr. Patty Reagan. Wow. All right. You in a band or anything like that? At the moment I am, yep. What's I the mean, name I of your band? It's Sorry About Everything. Oh, is that what you say after yeah. Yeah. Well, the it's shows? Kind of a, it's a semi-comedy band. Lead singer is a guy by the name of Dino Stamatopoulos who was... Oh, he's got a funny name. That's yeah. usually a pretty bad for sign. Sure. Brian opened for us uh, not long ago. Yeah, that's right. That was a very good band. Uh, yeah. You guys kicked ass. Thank oh, you. man, we found out that Brian opened for your band. This is getting sad. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Why would you do that? So did the Kill Brian. Tony band. They and were Brian needs to work, so he was like, oh, you guys were killer. It was a fun <laughs> little show, man. It was a yeah. little warehouse show. Well, that's cool. What, uh, what made you want to start doing stand-up? Uh, being in a band sucked, and hauling gear was like hell on earth, and I was like, Oh, you're a roadie? You're not in a no, band, dude. You're a, a roadie. No, dude. It, most bands haul their own gear. Um, so. Yeah, you idiot, Luis J. Gomez. <laughs> yeah. Lewis was in only one band called Godsmack. He doesn't know about lugging gear. Yeah, we, we, had, we had roadies lug our gear. <laughs> What's your love life like? You seem like you would uh, like be the guy that a lot of women cheat on their husband with or something yeah. like that. You have that vibe about you. Oh, yeah. yeah. How much gear are you lugging down there? Well, yeah. Hey, uh, my love life at the moment is uh, not... <laughs> It's been hard. Back when I used to play in rock bands, it was easy. When I started doing comedy, not that impressive with the ladies. So the last girl you hooked up with, how long has that been? Three months. Three months. What was I that? What was that like a Tinder date? How I got date? the job, Tony. Oh. Was that like a Tinder date or something like that? No. How'd you find I've her? Been, you were teaching ballroom Tinder. dancing at a resort. And then <laughs> no, sir. No, it was Joel Burr's girlfriend. You fingered her on his lunch break. You're like, yeah, oh. take that. You're fired, bitch. Oh, too he said real. said last girl I slept Stop with. Stop bullying my friend! So where'd you meet the girl? Friend of a friend. Friend of a friend? Yeah. And then what happened? So you guys went on a Drove date? Drove her home. Drove yeah. her home from where? From a gig my band was playing. Oh. Wow. Yeah. Playing the old musician card. Yeah. What does comedy rock groupie pussy seem like? Uh, <laughs> haven't seen any yet, but... Uh, well, what, weird Al pussy. 250 pound chicks with weird Al hair? <laughs> they <Sephardite>. were... <laughs> So, oh, shucky ducky now. So, so, for example, Michael, that night when you drove her home from that gig, where was the gig? The gig was at Starburns uh, Studios. That's a production company in Burbank. Burbank. So yeah, Burbank's okay, the yeah. answer to that question. All uh, right. <laughs> and then how, where, where were we, the neighborhood of where she lived in? What city was that? It was right here. Burbank to West, West Hollywood. Hollywood. Yeah. So that's a nice little fucking 35-minute yeah, jaunt. Yeah, got to know each other a little bit. Right. Yeah. yeah, that's quite the Star Trek. Oh. <laughs> anyway, so uh, you get to her place, and then what? You're like, hey, uh, you need me to walk you to your door or anything like no, that? No, no. I, I, I was a total coward. I didn't have the balls to put a move on her. I could tell she wanted one. I called her the next day, asked her out. Then things happened. Oh, yeah? Where'd really? You, you started the story? Why would you even start the story off there? Yeah, that, he that said, "Where'd you meet her?" Was this Rocky Part One? You got to show us the whiff first before you win the belt. <laughs> he, he looks like a guy who calls roofies Cupid's arrows. <laughs> <laughs> so you call her the next day to take her on a date. What do you say? Where do you want to take her? Uh, I took her to dinner. It was you know standard. Yeah. Standard what fare. type of dinner? What type of food? It was uh, Genghis Cohen, whatever that is. Oh, Genghis Cohen, yeah. yeah. Asian Jewish food? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Mongoloid. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> I don't know. We'll go pillage, and then we'll get the thing, and then we'll do the thing with the beef, and then we'll do the Get a matzo ball soup, and maybe a beef and broccoli. <laughs> I don't know. Whatever the holiday day brings. <laughs> oh, six point ninja star. <laughs> um, so, all right. Yamaka. So you take her to Genghis Cohen. Yeah. The real story is like the fourth date with this girl when uh, a whole she accused a homeless guy of grabbing her ass and. It was uh, you. 
I had already grabbed that ass, uh-huh. and uh, it th- she she got into it with this dude, and then some Armenian gangbangers jumped in, and she offered me to fight them on her <laughs> behalf. And then I begged her not call, to call the police on the homeless guy. I was like, this guy's homeless. His life sucks. He doesn't need this. And she wouldn't do it. She called the police on uh, the poor wow. fellow. And uh, I the said. The poor fellow that sexually harassed her. I love you. She accused him. You're the voice she in my head, dude. Him. I love this guy. He's Did literally you, like, just, can you come everywhere with me? And just wait, let's go wait, so, so What happened with the fucking Armenian guys? guys? Yeah, what about the Armenian guys? What happened to them? Well, I mean, they ended up taking off, too. They, it was at a... Uh, Del Taco. They had to close the Del Taco, throw everybody out. The place was on lockdown. And then the police were coming down. Ah. She created a scene and a half over this thing. This is actually the story of the Armenian genocide. Yeah. That's how it all sure. happened, folks. Oh God, that's it. <laughs> Genghis Cohen. That came full go. circle. Yeah. Um, also a genocide guy. Well, Genghis Cohen <laughs> was. <laughs> anyway, uh, enough about American history or world history. Uh, so, Regilio, you're taking this girl to Del Taco, right? Let's, yeah. We, we found this out in this well, story. Well, this was after a night of drinking. She wanted to go to the Del Taco. Ew. So this is nighttime. Oh my yeah. God. Mathematically. Did, did you get to eat her Del Taco? Yeah. Did you really? Did I go down on her? Yeah. Yeah. After did eating you, Del did, Taco? Did you eat her Genghis going to? <laughs> Just, gross, that, dude. dude. You're blowing taco breath into her gash, bro? <laughs> oh, These God. are separate occasions. Talk oh. about a talk about a seven layer dip. <laughs> <laughs> Jeremiah, you rascal. <laughs> Still got it. All right, Michael. Well, uh Okie dokie, there he goes, Michael right, Regilio. He's on Twitter at Regilio Michael. Pull one more name out of the bucket here? What do you think? Yeah, okay. All right. Can we do one more, Jeremiah? Can we do one more? All right, put your hands together for Shannon O'Donnell. I don't see any movement. You guys see Shannon O'Donnell coming in? Blacklisted. Oh, no, she missed her spot. How about uh, Chase Dassler? Here he comes. Watch out for the camera. Here he is. Chase Chase Dassler, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, so I just started. Well, I'm a little late to watching that show, The Handmaid's Tale. Anybody seen that show? <laughs> like the person in the front says no. Um, but it's a really it's a really good show, actually. Uh, kind of awkward watching with your girlfriend. Uh, there is this thing that happens in every single show. It's called the ceremony. Uh, that's where I try to get my girlfriend to have sex after watching The Handmaid's Tale. <laughs> Been struggling with that recently. Um, trying to figure out what women find attractive in me. Uh, I think they think that I'm masculine because I got broad shoulders. I like to go to baseball games, but I also, at the same time, I'm never more than one cranberry song away from crying, so I got to try to keep that away from them. Unless the relationship's going well, then that's a cool thing because I'm being vulnerable, so like I am on stage right now. Where is that? Where's that kitten? <laughs> Do another deal. Uh, I think about really weird stuff. I think about how the future will look at us the way like we look at the Roman Empire like 2,000 years from now. Yeah, go ahead. Finish that one. Uh, sure. And... Uh, <laughs> yeah. Do you actually want me to or...? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I promise you I do. You don't want to finish it? Don't do it, it's a trap! No, (laughs) it's not a trap. It's a chance for redemption, actually, in this situation. It's a trap if it's a trap. If you don't finish this joke, you're gonna regret it for the rest of your life, I promise you. Go ahead, finish it. All right, guys, so I'm a, I'm a weird guy. Uh, I think about weird things, how the future is going to look at us, you know, the way we look at the Roman Empire. And I realize that when the future looks at us, the Internet will be like the Colosseum for Rome. Because the Colosseum tells us a shit ton about Romans. They're perfectly fine with slavery and having graphic-ass violence right before their eyes. Colosseum, or the Internet, will tell us future so much about us. They'll know what we ate every step from our goddamn blogs. We're going to get a few things wrong, though, guys. No, no, no. Okay. I can't take it anymore. Jesus Christ. Holy shit. Chase. 
I well, why didn't you give us a warning that it was the longest joke in Kill Tony history? I know. Like, you might want to say, Holy like, are you shit. sure? Like, nah, you... I told you not to do it, you dumb son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I tried to warn you. I tried to save you. I Did recognized you... that you're one of my own. Did he second guess himself eight times within the joke? Yeah. He's like, the I'm... internet. No, wait, the Romans. No, it's, hang on. It's your Roman. All right, I, I take know. it back. You're going to regret doing the end of that joke <laughs> for the rest of your life. Thanks for sending me up for that. Yeah, yeah sorry. Chase, you should have done what your barber did and just stopped halfway through. <laughs> Chase, Chase, you do have the haircut of a Japanese businessman. You are dressed like you exclusively fuck bowling alley bartenders. I got a few more. I got to leave in a minute. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> hey... Yes! Jeremiah? That's great production. I was just going to say that he looks like a traffic school shooter. <laughs> <laughs> That's definitely true. Wow. I didn't want to do it. They made me. They bullied me into it. It looks like he's wearing the jacket that his dad left behind when he said, I'm going out for smokes in 1987. <laughs> His I'm in a rush. His dad had to smoke many pack of Marlboros to get that jacket. <laughs> that came with a tip. He was, he was trying to get a fighter jet. <laughs> Chase, uh, this is your first time on the show, right? That is correct. Uh, how long have you been on stand-up? Uh, three years. Three Whoa. years. Where are you from? Uh, here, Southern California. Oh, wow. All right. Um, I wouldn't have guessed that. You look like you're from the woodland areas of Oregon. <laughs> I would have guessed the mountains of Russia. Yeah. What do you do for work? Uh, I am a fitness instructor. <laughs> oh, what? Oh, oh, God. Yeah, and I've oh. got a 10-inch cock, and I'm a porn star. <laughs> I would have bet money he was going to say gather moss. A wicked uh, fish aquarium where I gather moss. You are a fitness instructor. Well, guess what, Chase? That's your new opening stand-up comedy line. Uh, that is by far uh, what you should be both opening and closing with. Um, that's, that, that's your getter done. You know what I mean? A joke goes good or it doesn't go good. Just go, I'm a fitness instructor. <laughs> yeah, <exactly. laughs> yeah Joelberg. Doesn't it get better, though? They're, who do you instruct? Uh, Joel knows that I actually do have uh, have a bit about this. Uh, so, who do you instruct? Who do you instruct? I, I work exclusively with the elderly. Is that true? That is true. Oh, that makes sense. You, you work out old ladies? That's fucking hilarious. Yeah. No, Margaret, true. your thighs are looking baller right now. <laughs> oh my god. Wow. Uh, but yeah, retirement communities only. Really? Yeah, let me give you a little window what that's like. I was finishing up a class the other day. A uh, woman comes up to me, uh, which I normally I'm totally cool with, uh, but she comes up to me after my class and says these exact words to me. My husband and son are dead, and I don't have a reason to live. To which I replied, well, I do teach this class weekly. Wow, Chase. I mean... I thought you were going to say, can I use your bathroom? I thought you were going to say, can I use your bathroom and then go through a medication? That he that was that was the bit that Joel Burke knows about, right? Yeah. He really took a chance there. You really try and I look, I commend it, but that was that was the moment you're gonna regret now. Thank you. You did that to yourself. I didn't set you up for that one. That's so. true. That's true. Wow. How do you get into that sort of work? Because I have weekends free now. I don't. Uh, I don't know, but Joel, I do have uh, actually uh -oh. something for you. He's got a gun. He's got a gun. <laughs> Stop. Son of a bitch! Uh, Holy shit, I thought we were dead. Uh, uh, as you can see, here, here it is. Has the, uh, has the Death Squad uh, sticker on it. This hey, is indeed. Notebook. This is uh, Joel Berg's comedy notebook, as you can see. Well, this uh, is the longest magic trick I've ever seen because I left that yesterday. Jesus. That's true. Wow. It, sa it says, uh, if you want to return it, 2650 your mom's house. Okay, okay, Chase, Chase, relax. By the way, you should have done jokes out of his joke book tonight. All right. Well, what else goes on in life, Chase? You, how'd you get into fitness instructing elderly people? How does that happen? Uh, after getting fired from uh, working in like a film distribution company, 
just sort of went. Let me out. fast forward to my real question. Sure. You seem like the kind of guy that would hit these old people. <laughs> How often does that happen? Uh, not often, though they do flirt with me a lot. Really? Yeah. What's the kinkiest thing one of them's ever said to you? <laughs> suck my cock, faggot. <laughs> <laughs> you know you want to suck cocks. I see it on your face. I'm 90. I've met a lot of gays. I still get hard without pills, you <laughs> son of a bitch. What are you afraid? Just kiss it. What do you think you're going to like it, you homo? Help me. I'm old. Oh, I can still come, though. Don't you worry. And then you're down there, just like during your set, like, oh, is the time up yet? Uh, am I finished I'm waiting yet? to hear that kitten. <laughs> <laughs> your hour's up, sir. No, hour's not up till I batch. Does anyone have, like, a heart attack while you're, you're doing anything? You know, like, because it seems like that would be a, a thing that would happen. Uh, no, but I've had uh, people break down sobbing in the middle of class. Wow. Because uh, a lot I of, wish you a suck dick better, you homo! Do people ever get hurt when, uh... uh they're very easy exercises, to be honest. Really? Like yeah. what? Can you give us an example? Like, uh, pretend like uh, there's an old person in front of you and you train us. Go ahead. Uh, so I want you guys to pull your arms out, full horizontal. I want you to hold that for a full 10 seconds. Really fold that. Uh, hold that, you know, I, but don't want you to feel any pain. So make sure, hold that for a full 10 seconds, but don't feel any pain. And we got that one, two, and then you go through the numbers and then, yeah. Wow. wow. Yeah. Do you, he teaches class in a Grim Reaper costume. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> like, if you don't do these, this is what you have to look forward to. I'm coming for you, elderly. Wow. What else, Chase? Do you have any other hobbies? You seem like the kind of guy that would, like, meddle with elections or things like that. You know? <laughs> uh, yeah, I uh, sideline a Cambridge Analytica when I'm not, you know, no. I uh, Don't try to be funny. Just answer the question. Um, I don't, you know, uh, I write, I, I mean, I'm like trying to create, you know, content on the side, you know, video stuff, sketches, web series, things like that, so. Anything else, like, uh, that's not, like, comedy related or entertainment related that you do just to take your mind off things? Selling heroin to under the bridge kids or something. Yeah. <laughs> uh, no selling heroin. Um... Archaeology. <laughs> oh, Indiana Jones, I got it. Yeah, Chase. yeah, yeah. Chase, any Do you think you look like Indiana Jones? That's hilarious. It's the jacket. Oh, is that? Were you really going for Indiana Jones? Yeah, because the jacket it looks like he stole it from Indiana. Jones. Okay, well, you know what? Fuck me. <laughs> okay, Chase. Uh, you get a lot of pussy. Uh, I have a girlfriend right now. Fuck yeah! How long you been with her? One year. Yeah. Did you meet her because uh, you were training her in fitness? <laughs> <laughs> No, she's uh, she's uh, younger than me, not elderly. Oh, wow. I thought you were saying she's yeah. gonna die soon. He's gonna get a new fucking jacket. Oh yeah. <laughs> younger than you? How old is she? Twenty-four. Eight. How old are you? Twenty-nine. Ew. Wow. No, <laughs> That's fine. That's a fine number. Hey, you're aging like a glass of milk. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Chase. Well, uh, <laughs> it was nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Yeah, there he goes, Chase night, Dassler. He's on Twitter at Chase underscore reality. Uh, Can I say, Tony, yeah. advice for future Kill Tony contestants or, or performers? Yeah. Don't look so sad when we make fun of you. We're just kidding. Yeah. He just made it uncomfortable. Like I feel like we would have been really killing here a lot more if he wasn't going, oh, still making fun of me. Yeah. Oh, he had a resting sad face. Yeah, that's what help. I was going to say. Is I don't think he can really no matter control what, it that much. Even I mean, if you were like, great jeans, he'd be like, thanks. That's literally the most bully thing you could ever say. Hey, whenever we're making fun of you next time, could you enjoy it a little bit? <laughs> I don't like this fucking nerd. Nerds. This nerd's been riding me wrong all night, nerd. Wow. You want to fight about it outside on the flagpole? I'll fight you right you you fucking take it outside. outside. There they go. No, I'm sorry. Jeremiah I'm sorry. Watkins and Big J Oak. Oh! God, he's getting a wedgie from Lewis. <laughs> All right. He's got a wedgie. They're there gonna they fight. go. They're going to go fight. They're definitely not doing the goddamn comedy jam down the street on the Sunset Strip. They're definitely both not booked for that. Uh, Luis J. Gomez is going to stay, and for a special treat for all of you, I'm going to bring out another amazing comedian to fill in for Big J. Ogerson. How about that? You guys like special treats? All right, great.
This is truly one of the best comedians in the world. One of the, uh, truly the best. Like a fucking true Jedi legend of L.A. comedy. And he just is fresh off of taping his brand new one-hour special last night at the Viper Room. It w went extremely successful. And uh, he's here for us right now. One of my favorite people in the world. The great and powerful Sam Tripoli, ladies and gentlemen. Holy shit. Yeah, baby. Hi, Fuck. everybody. How are you? Yes. Ya? No fucks given, right? No yeah. fucks? Well, it's, uh, it's going to be a cut. It's an hour cut in two halves. First part's going to be Armageddon. Yeah. Because I'm Armenian and he can't sell anything in his town if you're a white guy, right? Yeah. And then I agree. the next one's uh, called Zero Fucks because Fuck it gets yeah. weird. You know I, what I'm saying? I was there last night. It was fucking was amazing, Sam. It was, you. you are so fucking funny, dude. Sam is uh, not only one of the best, but he was one of the first guys, truly the first guy to ever take me out on the road uh, and uh, to give me a shot and throw me a paid gig. Yeah, it's my first paid gig also with Sam. You're known for doing that? I take care of the children. It's you know true. And you raised us from pups. I feel like you guys are killing that. I feel like a, I feel like somebody's drunk stepdad who just stumbled into the <laughs> slumber party. Well, we're glad that you're everybody glad off. that you're joining us. Uh, let's have some fun. You've done the show many a times, uh, so uh, let's watch some comedians and uh, have some fun. You guys ready? We got the band over there. Chroma Chris just slid over. Patty Reagan, captain's chair, and Joel Berg, Joel Jimenez back there, just looking adorable tonight. Uh, you guys ready for more? I'm going back to the bucket. You guys having fun, huh? Uh. All right. Put your hands together for Steve Kim. Steve Kim. He's got up. What's going on? Here we go. Watch out for the camera. There you go. Very good. I didn't expect to be, kicked, to be picked, so I'm sorry about that. Uh, so uh, let's see. Um, I have a history with uh, marijuana, Mary Jane. I go back with her. Um, one time I was living in this house, and I opened my housemate's door, and there was a thick fog in the room, man. A thick fog. So thick that I made sweet love to it, man. T-H-I-C-C, -C, as the kids say. Yeah. Oh, boy. <laughs> yeah. Working on that one. Uh, I, didn't, I didn't expect to get picked, so I'm sorry about this. Um, yeah, working it out. Uh, man, um, how about this? Uh, <laughs> how about this? I, I met this girl at a bar, and um, she tells me that um, she likes her man the way she likes her cheese. White and American. I got the American part right, but... Um, so uh, I told her, I, I hate my women the way I, the way I hate my world leaders, uh, German and Hitler. So that's all I got for you guys. And sorry about that. <laughs> sorry about that. There's a minute from Steve Kim. Steve, look at me. I want you to look at me when I tell you this. That's about as bad as it gets right there, homeboy. <laughs> Grab that microphone that's right behind you. I want to see how you respond to what's about to happen. You, right. you see that big laugh I just got? You see how I got that? Yeah. I didn't know you were going to be picked either, and I, I was know. still able to do yeah. that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, you uh, signed up for a show where names get pulled out of a bucket. Yeah. And uh, twice you said you weren't. Ex nobody's ever been expected to get I picked know. in the history of the show. Well, so to be fair. First time, first time here, so I. Yeah. Yeah, look, dude, it brings it back to, like, gym class in middle school. Nobody's picking the short Asian kid. Yeah, that's right. It's just not happening. I was, was kind of athletic, though. <laughs> Louis, Louis, doesn't everything bring you back to gym class in middle school? Uh, Fuck you, nerd. <laughs> I feel like I was at a uh, Google talent contest, right? Yeah. Like, like, they were fucking having a fucking employee talent contest. The, where you fucked up was yeah. um, where you go, I have a history uh, yeah. with me. You sound like a fucking narc, dude. That's yeah. the problem. You sound yeah. like yeah, you're I've fucking been, undercover. Uh, you know me, I love the uh, marijuana, the uh, Mary Jane. Uh, yeah. You uh, know her. Yeah. I do partake <laughs> with uh, the lovely lady Mary Jane. You yeah. know what I mean? I, uh, where yeah. can I score some cocaine? I love, yeah. uh, <laughs> I love, uh, I love, <laughs> love uh, smoking the sweet, sweet uh, hemp. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> Steve, how often do you really smoke pot? By the looks of your uh, eyes, you are blitzed yeah. right you look, now. You look, I don't do anything. You look so high, you look Chinese. Do, I don't do anything. <laughs> Hi, 
Chinese. I don't do anything. You know what? I don't do anything. You well, really don't smoke yeah, pot. I'm lame. Or right. So I'm literally, lame. why would you? Why would you say? I, it's a cut. It's a comedy thing. Here. Why would you say? Why would that be a part of your whole? You know, thing? everybody. It's just yeah. the end of the Mary Jane. She's uh, you know, one of my best friends. She's but... wicked. She's a very wicked woman. <laughs> <laughs> she will mess you up if you actually inhale. Twenty one Jump Street. <laughs> Are you actually trying to be a comic? Yeah. Yeah, dude. I mean, first bit of advice, don't lie. Okay. Don't yeah. make your whole thing a yeah. complete Man, farce. Yeah. What, what are some other, some other uh, famous Steve Kim jokes? I got like, a big oh. black dick. <laughs> yeah. Life sure is hard out here for a... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> <Shit>. <laughs> oh, wow. Whew. Wow. Steve Kim. How long have you been doing stand-up? About four years. Four years! Whoa. Oh, God. Whoa. Oh no! no. I, I, the moment got to me. I'm, Shut yeah. up! Come Tony, on. Tony, I've seen, I've seen Steve host. You're yeah. a good host. You're more like you're more honest when you host. Yeah, I've been I was expecting more of that. Where's yeah. he a host? He's at? funny when he's hosting. Where does he host go? at? Pants yeah, Cohen. <laughs> 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 Steve, what uh, ethnicity are you? Uh, Korean American. Korean American. Yes, sir. Ah, oh, okay. Yeah. So yeah. your dad's Korean and your mom's American. Is that what you're saying? Are they both Korean? And you're, uh, just, just, uh, you're Korean, you were born in America, yeah, and you're yeah. racist against your own people. <laughs> racist against who? Your own people. Uh, no. Okay. What, do you, what do you do for work, Steve? Uh, my, I work for my family business. You what? I work for my family business. Oh, uh, you're karate chopping ice blocks. <laughs> Construction. Construction. What? Construction business. Construction? Yeah. Oh, uh, it's not nails? You're not doing nails? No. <laughs> Korean? We've done, we've done, like, we've, like... Oh, is that different Asian? <laughs> Break down the Asian occupations. No, no, Chinese do what? Vietnamese are the nail people. Yeah, yeah. they are. Yeah. Uh, and the Thai also... have the fat asses, right? Who? How go the Thai, Thai chicks have the fat asses? No, 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 no. no, no. no. That's Who's Chinese, man. Yeah. Chinese guys have black asses? <laughs> and the Thai, they're also boys you're thinking of. Either way. Steve, what do you think's the most Korean thing about you? Yeah. Uh, my last Besides name. Besides your eyes. <laughs> My last name, other than your last name, like something that you do in which you're like, man, I have Korean blood flowing I, through me. I you speak, ever try I to like speak it proficiently? That's all. I yeah, mean. he yeah. murders South Koreans. <laughs> yeah. Can you say we make the very best missiles in Korean? I can't. I don't know how to say that. I know you can't say that. We've seen how you Koreans make missiles. Yeah. <laughs> That's right, America, motherfucker. Yeah. yeah. Steve, you have a girlfriend? No. 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 What's no. What's your favorite kind of girl? White girls with blonde hair. Uh. <laughs> Aphrodite hey, uh, liked that one, huh? Fun, funny girls, funny girls. Funny girls. Yeah. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Like what, what? Give me an example of a girl. Who's that your you... fantasy woman? Yeah. Oh, um, I would say uh, Amy Schumer. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. Finally something funny. <laughs> 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 oh, 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 oh. oh wow. Yeah. yeah, she just got married. Do you know that? Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. she got married last yeah. week to a uh, professional chef that used to be a farmer, so he's used to working with pigs. Oh, oh, Wait, what? Oh, what did I just do? This isn't live streaming, is it? Oh shit. Whoopsie Daisy. <laughs> it's true, he's the, it's just true. He's a chef that used to be a farmer, so Wow, Steve Kim. Yeah. So you want to literally be the first comedian to be uh, in on literally inside Amy Schumer? <laughs> yeah. Wow. Yeah. Do you have Asian jokes? Like, do you I'm, have a go-to bit in four years? What is your go-to? If you if Adam me goes, listen, dude. I don't know why. Yeah. But we need more Asians in this lineup. Yeah. And yeah. he's like one Can joke. Sam. He's like. For the first like three years, I think I focused more on riffing than doing material. To be honest, crowd work. Yeah, yeah you're good work. at that. I've oh, thanks, you. buddy. Yeah, thanks, I man. think you're more funny when you're doing that. Yeah, I, yeah. I, yeah. I don't. Well, want have, to you ever, have you ever like looked into like how many rafts per minute you get? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> LPMs. Uh, you're talking about LPMs. Well, That's R RPM. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> LOL, or should I say R O R? <laughs> oh, all right. <laughs> I, like I like that. Hey, man. Yeah. No, I, I really haven't, but you know, it, I get more. What's your bit. best bit? Oh God, I change my. I just don't commit to bits. That's the problem with me. So let's say you're bombing just like you were. Yes, right? sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah. 
And you're like, okay, I got this is the, my lifeline. Yeah. I'm gonna throw this out. This yeah. turns the yeah, room. Dude, yeah. Jimmy Kimmel walks what is in the that? room, yeah. and he, he's like, "Do you see him? Like, fuck, dude, this is my moment right this now." This is the yeah. joke that kills everywhere, even at like Vietnam vets lodges. You know, yeah, where yeah. they, get, they yeah. get fucking weird. I throw this out. They yeah, love yeah. me. Yeah. Do you, you like do like an Ozzy Osbourne or just bite a cat's head off on the stage? Like, <laughs> what, what All right, you, Steve. What yeah. is it? What's the answer? What's the joke? Your you go-to joke. You have to have one. You've been doing stand-up comedy for fucking years. So what? is it where are you from what city are you from I mean, that's all i have all right so yeah okay let's see how this goes okay i'm an audience member go ahead hey uh this show sucks what's up yeah <laughs> what's up comedian boy <laughs> you got a question for me mr comedian guy yeah. mr no bits seem like the kind of guy that wants to do some crowd work when he asks me a question just some guy here to watch a goddamn stand-up show the fuck are you laughing at all right okay uh, what? Where are you from? <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> Youngstown, Ohio. That's great. <laughs> Okie dokie. Uh. Okay. <laughs> I've heard of crowd work. You just got worked by the crowd right there, Bob. <laughs> yeah. That's great. That's the, that's the go-to on that? What would you say? Oh, that sounds like a shitty place. Something like that. Yeah. And then you get laughs. Right. Do you have shit you say to like a, a skinny white guy, uh, you know, a fat Armenian dude? Yeah, like, do, you, like you, do you have that shit? Well, then we have a crowd. Why don't we let him do yeah, some Yeah, just start oh. riffing. Crowd work. Yeah. yeah. Go. All right. The crowd work challenge. Look at the guy with the fucking green the beard, The guy's dude. still regretting St. Patty's stay over here. Fuck. Okay, here we go. Here's I Steve Kim going out. into the crowd. Go ahead, Steve. Take a chance. All right. How's it going? <laughs> <laughs> I like your beard. Uh -huh. That was God talking to you, bro. Go ahead. So, you like his beard? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Steve, Yo. come on, you gotta perform, dude. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, you like it? <laughs> you like it? You like your beard? Yeah. Okay. Did you, do you have a name? Do you have a name for your beard? No. I don't. no. <laughs> do, you, do you want one? All right. Ah! <laughs> you didn't have a name prepared. No. Steve, so what are you doing today? A doctor or something? Like what? Is, no. What is like? Is I this a write, fallback? I, I, just I, have fun. Yeah. Well, I mean, no, I, I want to have fun, but I gotta write more bits. Gotta work on my comedy. Joel, Joel I'm actually. Uh, you said he yeah. was good at crowd yeah. work. I'm actually like kind of concerned about you now. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, no, no, no. Well, so here's what it is. I think uh, when I've seen him do it, he comes out. He kind of like. It, you kind of like get to know like who he is while he's doing it. So it's not really the crowd work. You're more laughing at like what. He's set up. All right, dude. He's your roommate. We get no, it. No, no, no. No, I don't even. Yeah. yeah, we don't like, you know. But I thought we already went through the guy that's your boss at your day well, job, Joel. Well, I thought when you came, when they called your name, I was like, this is Bro, interesting. I'm, is he going to do what he does? Yeah, yeah. But you I'm, did bits, I'm really man. nervous, though. I'm hey, you idiot. Maybe. Idiots. Hey, maybe. idiots. Hey, can I talk to the idiot? Um, it's clearly a fucked up power dynamic where he has none and crowd works all about power. Right. Yeah, no, I know. Maybe it's because you dress like... You guys like are idiots. Dirt bitch idiots. Okie dokie. <laughs> and, uh, all right, Steve. Well, I mean, four years in the game, you have uh, absolutely zero bits. Yes. You've leaned on the, uh, the risk-taking effect of crowd work uh, working very clearly. Clearly very, very simple crowd work. And uh, that's sort of fucked up, man. Yeah. I think you should, uh, if you're really good at crowd work, then that means that you're funny in the moment in yeah. certain situations. And, you know, one of uh, a great comedian once told me long ago that I was better at crowd work than my bits, and it was true. Yeah. And he goes, if you can r do crowd work that good, then your bits should be better because the yeah. same guy writing the fucking crowd work is the guy writing the bits, so make yeah. your bits better. And that's just absolutely what you have to immediately do but, like immediately but, as soon as you get off this stage just start writing and do not fucking stop get Tony, in your rickshaw yeah, go home yes. devil's advocate here yeah his crowd work sucked dick. yeah 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 so you know it's a different thing here do you do you do you record all your sets do, do you listen do, do you listen yeah. to your sets yeah yeah do you ever find yourself going man i suck or is there yeah, usually a, a lot a lot yeah how many cell phones have you dropped in boiling water after you're no. set? No, like, I can't no, listen. He puts them in rice. Maybe it's not for you though. Maybe <laughs> after maybe, their way. Maybe if you think that you're doing sets that that you're like, dude, I suck. Yeah. After four years, if you don't have any bits, maybe not. Maybe try something else. Oof. Red, uh, ba Red Band's offering you a chance to publicly retire. Right? <laughs>
Dude, I mean, that's, I mean, that's not even a bad. Like, I'm gonna be honest with you. Four years in, that's a long time. No bits. Not good at crowd work. Extremely nervous. I gotta be honest with you. I think you should fucking. Uh, How many yourself. people out there <laughs> think Steve should quit right now? Nobody wants to Steve, pull the trigger on it. You guys are Those, all the, those were all the you. kids who voted for uh, for the lucky leprechaun to not get the lucky charms in 1990. All I know is you guys are being assholes. Yes, right we now. are. Very good. All right, Steve, we're gonna let you not retire tonight. Steve, I think you need to take this more serious. Yeah. Because you're in a fucking shark tank. Yeah. yeah. This town is a fucking shark tank. Yeah. And either you're going to be a shark or you're going to get eaten alive and you're going to fucking not be taking calls from your parents because they're wondering what the fuck you're doing with your right life. Right now you're doing comedy like the kind of guy that's just waiting to inherit the family business. Yeah. You're dressed like you're from the movie Teen Wolf right now, okay? You don't give... I mean, like, dude, all the fun side. Like, I believe in you, dude. But this is like real shit. The yeah. days of just like I can go on stage and shit happens are done. Yeah. There's too many people doing this yeah. to fuck around. There you go, Steve Kim, ladies and gentlemen. You met him here on Kill Tony. Suicide Watch. <laughs> Fuck yeah. It's all happening. There he goes. I just talk like that because when he gets a gun and shoots, everybody's going to remember, that guy said something nice to me. It's true. It's true. All right, this looks like a new name. Put your hands together for Levi Manis. <laughs> He's running. We got a runner. Watch out for the camera. Here he comes. Here he looking for Levi Manis. I look like... <laughs> that kid from Home Alone. <laughs> if his parents just never came back. I wish I had the ability to ejaculate fabric softener. <laughs> My socks would be so soft. Fuck yeah, rock star shit, Levi Manis. Another guy who, by the way, did not know that he was gonna get picked out of the bucket. Levi Manis, I like your style. Fuck yeah, hello. Hi. You, you are one of the funniest devil's rejects that we've ever had on the show. <laughs> by far. <laughs> hey, I wanna know how long you've been doing comedy. Four years. Okay. Fuck oh. yeah. I like it. Also four years. What a difference uh, Steve, writing Steve, jokes Steve, has. Steve uh, Kim just fell on a sword in the back. <laughs> Levi, where are you from? Seattle. Yeah. Fuck yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do you still live in Seattle or did you move down here? I moved down here living out on my car. Very lovely. Yeah, How dude. long ago did you move down here? Uh, Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. That's yeah. November. We're in March. Hell yeah, that makes sense. How's living out of a car? It's a, uh, not fun. <laughs> where, do you, where do you shower? Uh, my friend's house uh, in Burbank. Yeah, you smell like teen spirit, dude. <laughs> <laughs> ah, fuck yeah. Did you save up some money up in Seattle before coming down? Or are you in the real, real struggle here? You gathering your coins for whatever. I did save up money, and my job will let me still come back and work shifts up What's there. What's that job? Uh, Meth work. dealer? <laughs> Where do you save your money in your heart-shaped box? <laughs> you know what? You know what? You know what? Never mind. Yeah. All right. uh, I work security at concert venues. <laughs> you look like you work in security. I'd feel safe with you around. <laughs> wow. What's it like not letting people that look exactly like you into concerts? <laughs> it's got to be weird to kick people out, then see them in your living room, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I got to take their weed, so that's pretty cool. <laughs> you got wow, to that's fun. What are some of your favorite, uh, favorite shows that you've seen? 
Um, <laughs> uh, the Foo Fighters. Yeah. Yeah, that was pretty cool. Um, wild, wild country. That <laughs> no, Jane's Addiction and shit like what that. Kind of a, what kind of car are you sleeping in? A Ford Focus. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. That's what you get for loving the planet and not doing well. (laughs) Exactly. You do a, you go back seat fetal position or driver's seat back? Oh, he cries for sure. (laughs) (laughs) I cried before living in my car, but, um, I sleep diagonal with my seats down in the back. Hey, do you fill your Ford Focus with gas or Ritalin? (laughs) 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 So Levi, uh, well, how do you how do you like, do you do you bring chicks? Because you're not a bad looking dude. You got like the rock and roll type thing. I'm, I'm assuming you probably get some pussy. Do you bring them back to your car? Is that how you do it? No, I'm actually still a virgin. What? Is that true? Oh, Are you serious? Yeah. yeah, he eats them before he gets the fuck. That's why you're homeless, dude. <laughs> yeah, you need to focus. You gotta lower your standards, dude. What focus? Fuck some homeless chicks. They'll show you where a nice dumpster is. You know. <laughs> yeah. Are you religious? No. Why, 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 why do you think he's you're a virgin? He's younger than he is. I, than we think he is, I think. He's what? I think he's younger than we think he what is. What are you, 14? <laughs> <laughs> he's definitely not. I'm 25. There you go. Okay, so, oh. Levi, uh, why do you think you're a virgin? Why do you think you're a I'm a great friend. Oh. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> I... This is what you're doing to white guys, Hollywood. You're putting them in the fucking friend zone. They're watching Jennifer Aniston movies and thinking chicks want to fucking frolic and right, run through right. airports with fucking flowers. Dude, well, everybody right, else got, is fucking... Yeah. There you go. You, you got, know what I'm talking about. You got you, Sam fired up. I have a question. Do you... <laughs> sorry. Do you... Do you want to like save your virginity for something special, or are you just it just hasn't happened? No, it just hasn't happened. Okay. Bullshit. Do you say, I, I don't. I don't understand, funny. Levi. So give me an example of like the last date you went on. Like, what was that like? When you were almost close. Like, have you fingered a girl? Have you made out with a girl? I never made out with a girl. Or You've never made out with oh a girl. God, Aphrodite, get up here right no, 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 now. No. Let's fucking do this wait, shit. Wait, yes. Wait. Yes. No, Aphrodite. Get up here. Let's fucking do this shit right now. You guys ready to make see this guy out, make out for the first out, time make ever? Out, make out! Make out! Make out! Make out! Make out! Make out! Give Aphrodite a big kiss. Come here. Hey! Hey! Do it, dude! Yeah. Do it! What? My baby. He might be gay. I don't know what's going on here. Hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Stop it. Do you a- not know how to make out? You don't have oh, a squirt it everywhere. Everybody relax. Hold on. Everybody chill. Aphrodite, what do you think is going on with this guy? How can you help this guy? In the microphone. Your earring is on your shoulder now for some reason. <laughs> oh, shit. It's over there now. <laughs> there you go. Uh, There's a little. Put that on. That's a cock ring, by right the way. There. Hell yeah. He's about to be a. <laughs> he's about to turn into a pirate of the Caribbean. It's a right Black now. Panther cock ring. Oh he, God. he needs some a freakingization. Yeah, I think he needs a finger up his ass, yeah. Aphrodite. Yeah. We need to bust this guy wide open. No, Can he's I, probably got the finger in there. We need to pull it out. Well, we, hold on. Here's the Aphrodite came up here. Yeah. She was ready to make out with yeah. him, and he got very uncomfortable and turned to the side. Fucking. Is he, that is that just your natural racism coming through from the beard? <laughs> Was it because of... He was sort of hearing Sweet Home Alabama in his head. He ain't had no pussy and he ain't had no black pussy. That's okay. real. Oh, shit. That sounds like bad luck. <laughs> no, we told him to go after homeless chicks. Uh, first, somebody need to help him smell one, you know, kind of orientate him into yeah. the pussy. Oh, no, we can smell you. Have you ever smelled pussy? <laughs> Are you in the girls? Levi. Are you sure? So this is a make, town that be used. This could be your first time making out ever on Kill Tony. Aphrodite's ready to rock. Yeah, right, baby. This is it. Make out session right now. We gotta feed you, you some wanna give, You want to do it, Levi? You want to give her a big kiss? Here oh, we go. Hell 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 switch. Hell on, hell on. That's where I draw the line. That's where I draw the line. I ain't kissing oh, this ass. Aphrodite, I'll give you forty bucks. Just kiss oh, him real quick. On. What you like? What you like on women? What you like? Aphrodite, what's 
Hold what on. you like? You like titties, ass, dick? What you like? Tongues? Hold on, Aphrodite, stop. Them. Wait, everybody, stop, stop. stop. You like Complete titties, system yeah. shutdown. Everybody, stop. Hold on. Jesus fucking Christ. We got young pussy, old pussy, new pussy, cold pussy, blue pussy. All right, you fucks. Hold on a second. You're listening to uh, NPR. Trying to make goddamn history up here. I ain't kissing yeah. a white boy. Aphrodite, now you don't want to kiss him. Is that what's happening? Jesus he got Christ. pussy on his face. Wow. So you don't want to do it. No, he got okay, pussy on his face. Okay, put the mic back in the mic stand. Can the mic to Levi? Hell no. He there goes Aphrodite. Aphrodite, yeah, one yeah. more time. Do we have any whores in the audience? Can I get a woman to make out with this guy? No one? Jesus fucking Malcolm Christ. will do it. Well, well, stop. Make Come out on, with Brian. Well, Tony, have some goddamn respect. I feel like if I was a chick, this is the truth, right? I yeah. find out this guy's a virgin. Yeah. I would just fuck him tonight. Does anybody here want to fuck? <laughs> what do you find? All right. I really would fuck this guy just for the, for the story. I would give him the time of his life. If a girl wanted to fuck tonight, be honest. Would you be down if she was into what? Maybe Aphrodite isn't your thing. Um, <laughs> but if a girl who was your thing came up and was down to go to Pound Town, would you? I'd be open to it. Would you yeah. let? Would you be mayor of Pound Town? Yeah, I try my best. I'm, do you I, even know what you would do? Like, what would you start? Where, where would you start? Do you watch what would, porn? Do you know? Have your moves ready? Are you gonna ring the doorbell? Yeah. Like, you know. <laughs> I got the pizza ready and everything. Uh -oh. <laughs> Where do you first make her nail you to a cross? <laughs> so suck your dick from there. Did, now, do you masturbate a lot? Not, not much anymore. No. What? What do you, what do you mean anymore? What happened? What, what you happened? Giving up? I, I thought it was too much at one point, so there's kind of. How much was too much? What do you think was too much? Come on. Oh shit, Jim! Party started. Oh, I love Jen Murphy. Make it motherfucking yes. dreams come Thank true. You. Jen Murphy. Jen ladies. Murphy knows yeah, how to do that shit. He was delicious, by the way. He was delicious, man. Oh. Wow. I think I bit his so mouth. Now you got some lady credit going on. Oh, here. she's available in the woman's restroom. Look oh. at the fucking smile on this guy. Show them, you asshole. I just want to say one thing real quick. Wow. I've been at the comedy store for 20 years. And throughout these years, there's always been some very special ladies that would let comics know how special they were. And they would take care of us. And they would let us know, keep going. You're doing something good with yourself. I'll be very upset if this guy leaves tonight still a fucking virgin. I'm yeah. going to tell you that right now. I'll be very upset, ladies. All right? You have a job to do. Take care of business. Every, Levi there, there are a hundred women okay. in this crowd that has, have fucked a man that they didn't want to fuck before. Yeah. Change this man's life tonight. <laughs> Change this man's life tonight. I'm going to say something about you, dude. You're funny as fuck, Yeah, bro. Levi, you're funny. We just made history here with you. We're going to keep it moving along. There he goes, Thank Levi Manis. His first kiss. His first kiss. Go here. get Jen Murphy. She's over there. Get her. On Kill Tony. Jen Murphy's on Twitter and Instagram. Jen Murphy Comedy. Google it. Get it right. That's great. Tony. Jen Murphy gets fucking show business. Yeah. There was a tension in the room that you could cut with a knife. And you I look out there at all these women that beg me. You know what I mean? Like, oh, can I be the new regular? Can I get on stage? Bum, 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 bum. They're all sitting here staring at me. Yeah. And then Jen Murphy, a fucking pro who I've worked with for 11 years, is yeah. like, I'll go yeah. fucking get this and plug great, right now. And she'll finish the job. You know Jen, right? Oh, like, yeah. She's a, She's, great comic comic too. Too. <laughs> She's a great comic, too. Hell yeah, absolutely. Man, tonight, Tony, that guy became a man, son. Hell yeah. Anything can happen here on Kill Tony. So up this next. is a history-making show tonight. Hell yeah, it is. Up uh, next, let's all go, things considered. Let's go, yes. Let's go back to the bucket in a little bit, but for right now, let's bring up another guy who lives in his car. For his first ever regular spot, ladies and gentlemen, it's Malcolm Hatchet. What up? <laughs> hey, Levi, you deserve to be cocky, dog. I fuck with you. Damn. Y'all think Crips eat strawberries? 
<laughs> hey, you, you ever hit a parked car and keep going? Because you ain't got insurance. But then somebody hit your car and you get out. And they get out. And you get back in and keep going because you ain't got insurance. Got gotcha. you. You think bloods eat blueberries? <laughs> I'm from the ghetto, and in the ghetto was always shoes on the power line. And other, I was in the ghetto looking at the shoes on the power line, and the white woman was like, you think those fell off a plane? I said, nah, those came off a bird's foot. <laughs> I took a fat girl to McDonald's, and she squinted at the menu. I said, bitch, you know what you want. You know this shit by heart. <laughs> Oh my God! Yes, Malcolm Hatchet. She said, "Ba da ba ba ba." You right? <laughs> <laughs> you son of a bitch! I'm Malcolm. so excited about this whole thing. Another brand new killer minute from Malcolm. Uh, You're a freak, a, dude. Yeah. That's nice. So wait, a, he's one of the new regulars, meaning that he does a new minute every he week. He is the first so ever I'm, male you, regular in the show's history. Let me tell you something. History. That fucking do Crips eat strawberries joke. Yeah. Blueberries. Yeah. Me, uh, blue, no, 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 switch. Yeah, that's back. two different jokes. Yeah. That shit made me fucking like legit laugh out loud. That was fucking fire. That was great, dude. Really funny. I didn't, I didn't realize that he was doing a new minute every week. And if that's a new minute, dog, this was his first new. spot as a regular. This that's one right awesome. here. We just announced it last week. So this is the type of heat that he's bringing. New minute every week. He's the goddamn future. You know, Tony, this week I saw Malcolm at a mic. Yeah. And uh, this mic is kind of a little bit... Lesbian. Sure. And, but, is that but, what you were going to say? What, is like that the black collar tour. For lack of a better term, like SJW-ish. Sure. But so Malcolm's so funny and likable. Like, I've watched him turn rooms that are like, would not, never laugh at that laugh at shit because he's just because he se he does it you know yeah and i yeah i saw it this week and i saw it tonight i think it, that was because i'm black was crazy. yeah it's definitely a uh definitely a thing he's my new favorite person to follow on instagram all yeah. of his stories are funny everything about the guy's funny last oh, night's please. instagram story man uh, a lot of drama hey, thanks there you for that go thanks was for that tony, tony leaned into me as he got up and this no bullshit tony just says he leans into me he goes this kid's the future he really loves you i'm telling you right now that's no joke you got a weird thing about you, like uh, almost like uh, an energy to you. You live in the hood? Yeah, well, I'm from the hood. You're from the hood. Do people fuck with you a lot growing up? Yeah, I used to get bullied, but I bullied back, so yeah. All right. <laughs> but yeah, they used to, but I was a crack baby, so that's probably the energy you see. Okay, that's... I, I didn't want to say it. <laughs> Yeah, crack yeah. babies are the funniest. <laughs> I've always thought crack babies were hilarious. Never met a not funny crack baby. <laughs> Smoking the that best. crack moms. <laughs> the best. They just got <laughs> timing. Crack babies have timing, dude. Yeah, dog, yeah. They're charismatic as shit. Hell yeah. Uh. So he also lives in his car. Um, and how long have you been here from North Carolina? Uh, it'll be seven months in a couple of days. Seven months. And uh, okay. an interesting seven. development that happened this week. Is, is his car an Escalade? No, it's a Ford Taurus. Oh, fuck. Uh, Escalade a house, oh, nigga. I had a question about <laughs> Shit. What the fuck? I had a I had a question about your car, uh, like from your Instagram videos. I noticed the top, like your top of your, is all cut up and yeah. blown up. What the fuck happened to the roof? Well, of the I, car? I got it from an old white lady, so maybe she used to fucking scratch the ceiling. I don't those know. things oh, those things fall apart like that. I yeah. used to have, I'm like 99 percent sure the exact same model of Ford. She Taurus. was a scratcher. Ford Taurus, also. Yeah, I had a Ford Taurus most the, of my life. The fun fact is, the Ford Taurus was the car that I slept in 11 years ago in this. Oh back alleyway here for a few months when I worked here and had a fucking little summer of a uh, summer of love and craziness here you know well, this is California I'm just not impressed with you asshole sleeping in your cars that sounds like a dream yeah yeah no it Beautiful is it, weather, it, 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 you know. it really was one of my favorite and most creative times I mean yeah. I had zero money but I was waking up when the Sun came up that's pretty much how that goes you yeah. go you take a shower you get a coffee, and back then, it makes me sound a lot older than I am, but I would get a newspaper, and I would read the shit and start writing fucking stupid hacky jokes right in the back alleyway of this club 11 years ago in a fucking torn ceiling tattered Ford 
Taurus. Damn, so. we got the Taurus connection. What if it was your it Taurus, is. Tony? What if it was the same car? Oh. <laughs> actually, <laughs> well, my, 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 <laughs> what's funny is my brother actually still has the Ford Taurus. The thing actually well, runs. Well, I said that thing, Ben. <laughs> there you go. Hey, what color is your Ford Taurus? It was like a silver gray. Blue. That's what I had. What's your... F- oh, it's burgundy. Uh. <laughs> you're there like you you're I'm like different. you're like Dave Chappelle fucked Larry the Cable Guy and had a real funny hick black kid. But they, I'll baby. tell you what he's done. And this is an incredible little thing you watch, right? Mm-hmm. Like you're funny, period. That's no doubt. But you've already what happens is you win over the crowd because you're very likable too, right? So you just said the color of your car was burgundy, and they laughed. They don't <laughs> know why they laughed. <laughs> that was a moment there. Probably how I said it, burgundy. Yeah. yeah. I, Bargandy. Bargandy. Well, Bargandy. 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 Drive burgundy Bargandy. cars. But that's like Bargandy. that's the thing that you have that not you know you can't really learn that like they want to laugh at what you're saying. And little that's a really important thing. Little f- fucking really cool thing that happened this week is uh, a week ago we announced uh, for the first time that we are doing a Kill Tony in Detroit, Michigan, and I saw on the social media and I was made aware that somebody literally reached out publicly and uh, has offered to pay for and put up, because so, he lives in Detroit, he's willing to pay for bringing out uh, Malcolm so yeah. that uh, Malcolm can do a minute Malcolm! on the Detroit right show in front of Danny Brown. Just a fan. Those are the kind of fans that we have here at Kill Malcolm. Tony. You goddamn animals and monsters. Stop acting like it's Hawaii, motherfucker. It's Detroit. <laughs> <laughs> it's a free flight. It is an expensive flight. They're all the basically police. the fucking same. <laughs> Uh, Malcolm, are you going to be allowed to fly? Like, are you going to be TSA? Uh, are Could. they going to? Yeah. Are you gonna... I'm homeless. I don't own that much shit. <laughs> <laughs> what? I'm homeless. I, ain't, I don't own a lot of shit, so I should be good. Do you have an ID? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, he can fly. Yeah. Park your car have you flown house. before? Have you flown? Oh, yeah, yeah. I've flown before. He's a Maybe. crack baby. He yeah. was born flying. Yeah. I'm flying right now off that moon rock. <laughs> <laughs> what? 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 Nothing. What? <laughs> What's Moon Rock? What is Moon it's Rock? A, it's a strand of weed with some keef on it. Oh. Mm. oh. Like, like, like my feet not on the stage. I'm floating right now. You could probably get it at Speedweed. I think a crack baby shouldn't be mentioning the word rock when talking <laughs> about drugs. <laughs> <laughs> I've, I've met two crack babies now in my life as adults. They're all like buff. They're all like big. I think they're doing I'm the crack. real crack baby. I'm not buff. You I look, look like, yeah, who, Malcolm, like Malcolm, who's your favorite strong. comic? My favorite comic? Chris Rock? Oh. Crack Rock. Yeah, I, 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 yeah, Chris Rock, yeah. No, Mike Epps. Oh, that's interesting. Yes. Uh, did you get any, uh, quit any jobs this week since the last time we've seen you? Did you pick up <laughs> no. any day jobs? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was working at a weed shop, and then they got raided. By you? Was it you that raided it? I wish, man. Why'd they get ra- raided? Just I was working one day, and then the next day I was supposed to come in, and she was like, don't come in, we got raided. Wow. It got raided even though it's legal. You got fired is what happened. You you look like the before picture and if like Jer- Jamar Neighbors was like an HGH commercial. You look like the first picture. He looks like the second baby. A Jamar Neighbors joke for you uh, underground, super <laughs> yeah. underground comedy fans. I mean, Jesus Christ. Very, very Crack specific. babies. I'm bringing them all together. Oh, I gotcha. Mm. I gotcha. Mm. All right, Malcolm. Well, another killer minute. Another fun, uh, fun interview. Okay. There he is. He's coming. It's Malcolm Hatchet. I fucking love it. See him here at the five-year anniversary and every single Monday, a brand new minute from Malcolm Hatchet. Go check his Instagram stories, man. Some of the best shit ever. He's the person to follow on Instagram. Yeah. Uh, you guys ready to go back to the bucket? You guys having fun out there? This lady over here is grabbing her purse for some reason, huh? Trying to get out of here, lady? Checking your phone? You got somewhere better to be on a fucking Monday night? Back to the bucket we go. Put your hands together for Jay Singh. Jay Singh. Here we go. Watch out for the camera. You can? Oh, my God. Come on. It's Jay Singh, everybody. What's up, guys? You guys fans of the show? I was on last week, so Tony fucking hates me right now. Hey, um, I'm in dental school. That's why I'm wearing this, man. And uh, it's funny, man. I, if you guys are wondering why I'm in dental school and I'm doing this, is because fuck dental school, man. Thing is, is like, any of you guys grow up in Indian households or any like immigrant households where you expected to become a doctor, lawyer, or engineer? I became two of those things, and I'm still a disappointment to my dad. <laughs> you know, what's crazy is that like, I just can't wait till he watches this clip and he finds out I'm a shitty comedian now. I'm gonna finish the trifecta. 
You know, thing is, is I'm Indian and I grew up in Las Vegas. And in Vegas, I always wanted to play roulette. But like they're always run by the you know Native American, the those guys like own the casinos, and they always are racist against us because you know they thought they were the real Indians, but we are. And the thing is, is like I always wanted to play roulette. It's and they only let me play Indian roulette, which is basically where you spin the red ball and you have to make it land in the middle of the Indian girl's forehead. That's how you win Indian roulette. You know, that's, that's I never could win that shit, man. Jay Singh. Now look at that. And here's a little something for those of you that didn't listen or were at last week's episode. Last week you came up completely bombed. And this week you actually took the notes that we gave you. Stop yeah. saying you're a dentist, tell the truth, make hey. fun of yourself, and it was a totally different thing. I, you were wanna, able to follow Malcolm's momentum. I want to give a big shout out to Lila right there. She okay. gave me a ton of good advice. I wow, look at it, that. Uh, big improv. things do come in small packages. A little advice from Big big Lila shout out to Hart. her. Okay, I, very my, good. I love that you're thanking people like you want an Emmy, you son <laughs> of a bitch. I just want to give credit where credit's due. So many people I'd like to thank for this minute going well. Uh, one of my favorite one of my favorite things is you just got off work. So you're wearing your outfit, but you couldn't take off that and just wear a T-shirt underneath it. You're like, no, I'm in, I'm oh, a tennis. Are you wearing a fur coat underneath that? The black fuck? shirt. Black shirt. Wait, why does your shirt have a pentagram on it? It has like a. It's it's the logo of the school. Oh, USC. okay, cool. It's dentist shit. All right. Yeah. So Jay, uh, wow. So you made the adjustments that we told you. Yes, sir. Those fucking eyebrows are something else, man. You Did fuck those up. You, what do you do? Those eyebrows look like the thing Super Mario jumps over to get to the other side. Yoshi is all up on yeah. this, man. How do you uh, how do you work that? How uh, how many times like a week do you have to manage those eyebrows? Is that a daily Real thing? Shit. No, three four times. Uh, no, three every three days or four days. Three four days. You have threaded or you pluck them? I pluck them. You pluck you pluck them yourself. Mm -hmm. Does it, it do you notice that other people in your family have the same situation? A lot of, a lot of other these things have uh, the eyebrows that try to connect? Uh, no, just me, I think. I'm really? Not, I'm not really close to my family. I don't really. And the eyebrows, so every three or four days, you go in and you take care of it. I do, myself. Is it difficult to pluck your eyebrows when there's a man's penis shoved into your throat? <laughs> like, are you like, do you have to kind of get around it or what? How does it sometimes. work? Sometimes. Okay. Sometimes. Are you broke that you can't get it professionally done? I'm sorry? Are you, are you broke that you can't get it professionally done? Yeah, like I'm in uh, dental school, so I'm actually right now, I'm not even joking about this, I'm $300,000 in student loan debt. Wow, 250000 of that was keeping his eyebrows separated. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You know, right but imagine it. he was joking about that, and that was just a shitty joke of his. <laughs> no, he was that, like, that's $300, true. Three hundred thousand dollars in debt. Imagine that. I'm but really, that's I'm like really in that much debt. But I'm but honestly, joking. when you're a dentist, that's like one week's worth of like income, right? As no. being a dentist. No, they don't make that much money. Mm. Uh, right? Hundred eighty k a year's average. Hundred and eighty k. Yeah, so you'll average. pay that off in two yeah, years. It's right. like fuck dentistry. I'm trying to do this, man. Oh yeah, you're not gonna make that oh, doing yeah. this. You'll, yeah. you'll, you'll, Maybe not, but I'll oh, try. No. Are you as good at dentistry as you are at comedy? Oh, man, that would be awful. <laughs> just, you would. do have good joke structure. I'm going to be honest with you. You just got to pull a little, couple lines out here and there. Pluck them a little bit? Yeah, you, you, you're great at plucking, so pluck some shit out. Last I'll week, try. I told him that he reminded me of Aziz Ansari, not because of him being an Indian guy, but because he likes putting his fingers in other people's oh. mouth. Yeah. Very rarely do I repeat a joke back-to-back uh, -back weeks. How long have you been doing comedy? So, I've been doing it seven months, but seriously, for three months. Oh, fuck, you're a veteran. <laughs> or a veterinarian, we don't know. That's, that's a very young guy, kind of, just fucking say seven months, it doesn't seven matter. Seven months, dude. okay. Yeah, seven months, whatever, it's not serious at that, this time in any way. Um, but, you're, no, you're funny. You are a funny dude. Jay, you have a girlfriend? Uh, no, I don't. We talked about that Bumble date last time. I don't uh, know if you remember. No, I don't. You don't? Uh -uh. Just last week. Do you think you don't I'm have, not memorable. Do you think you don't have a girlfriend because you wear way too small shirts? You think that fucked shit up? No, no, she actually broke up with me because uh, she went to medical school in the, Caribbean. in the Caribbean. Oh, that's a good place to go. Where is she learning to chop uh, chicken's heads off to do <laughs> yeah, voodoo? Yeah, pretty pretty much. Medical school. <laughs> hi, 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 hi. <laughs> medical school in the Caribbean? Yeah. That's a whole new world. It's a whole new okay. world. Okay. 
Jay, what's the wildest thing about you? You seem like you come from a good Indian household. You're trying to follow, you know, the right thing to do. You're trying to become a dentist. You, uh, you know, you tend to your eyebrows relentlessly. What's like a wild thing about you? In what way do you, would you consider yourself a bad boy? A bad boy? I'd get high on laughing gas at work. That's dope. Do you really? Yeah. That should be your joke. Oh, fuck. I'm losing my dental license. They ain't gonna give me that after no, seeing that. That's not a good idea, man. Yeah. I love how I got vanilla ice I, right yeah, there. Yeah, I, not I noticed that you do that sometimes. You start to talk like a little bit uh, ghetto. Um, where do you think that comes from? Uh, well, so I, uh, my, like, so my mom died when I was a kid, and then uh, I didn't grow up with my dad, so like, I bounced around a lot of random households growing up, so I never really like had a stable like. Were they black household. households? Uh, a lot of different ones, you know, black, Hispanic, Asian, just every, anybody that would take me in. Why, wait, so your dad didn't, wait, what, hold on, your mom died, how'd your yeah. mom die? She fell off the top of a train? Uh, car accident. Oh, okay. Car Jesus accident. Christ, Same thing. dude. I do she was not, crushed, hey, she this was crushed to death by the family elephant. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Those honor killings are awful. <laughs> <laughs> she, was, she was roofing on top of her onion dome and she was impaled by it. <laughs> wow. I'm glad it's a non issue, you know? <laughs> hey, that was a clever joke, non. <laughs> oh, thanks. You hear that? Yeah. So, so the joke, even though it got laughed, the joke about your dad being upset with you isn't real. I'm sorry? The, the, joke, about... the joke you said about the guy, how your dad wouldn't be happy with you. Was it yeah, real? That's all real. That's all real. He's not. He's. He really thinks I'm a disappointment. He's a. He's actually a cardiologist, a heart surgeon. Well, your real he dad. Time out. Back up, though. Yeah. Uh, heart you surgeon. Were... If he really had a heart, he'd accept you for who you are. Oh. Uh... Now we're getting. <laughs> what did, wait? What did, did your mom think about? Oh wait, forget it. No, fuck. Oh, I'm sorry. Dude, that wasn't meant brutal. to be a joke. Stop it. Stop. Continue. That's fucked up, Tony. Whatever you guys were going to do, on, just guys. do Let's it. Hold on, guys. Let's have a seance. See if we can get her no. on the set tonight. Hold on, everyone. No, we already had a moment of silence during Jay's set. Let's keep it moving. Um, <laughs> oh, shit. Hey, those are sacred. Is that your god that you just heard? Yeah, that was my god. I said that's why they're sacred. Taking down gods on Kill Tony. How often do you talk to your dad? Once every three, four months. You know that. what, Jay? You want to do something fun? Why don't oh, we no, call no, him no, on no, speakerphone no, no, no. right now? Let's call this piece of shit up. Hey, can you get... Hey, Jay, Jay, grab my phone. It's in my... Uh, yeah, grab his fucking phone. You need a calling card or something like that yeah. for your Indian ass? I need tech support to call him. Jay, Jay, you only talk to your dad once every seven to 11 months? Seven to 11 months, yeah. How do, how do you want me to call him? Like on Very a, clever, Louis. <laughs> I stink. I got him. Uh, I got him right here. Put him on speaker. Yeah. Yes. I told you never to no, call no, me again. No, 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 no. Stop. No mics for you. Everyone has to be quiet. Hey, Dad. Hey, what's going on, honey? I'm in front of 200 hey. people at the comedy store right now. Hey, hold you on. Hear hold him? on. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Let me talk to this son of a bitch. <laughs> Hello. Hey. Yes, we're definitely going to send the video to you. Uh, hello, my name's Tony Hinchcliffe, and I'm one of the top Young Rising comedians in the world. Right now, your son Jay is on my show, and we understand that you may be giving him a little bit of a hard time about him chasing his dreams, huh, doctor? <laughs> you just got a big laugh. What'd you say? Yes, that's what we're telling you. It's glad. Wow, look how shocked he is. He, I can't tell you how happy he looks to, to hear you say that. He's actually about to cry right now. This is amazing. I'll tell you what, doctor. You really put on a hell of a front when you're on the spot. Yes, I'll send it to you, Dad. I got you. I will send it to you. We're definitely going to send you the picture. Don't worry. It's not... I'm so, I'm so proud of him. Wow, look at that. Well, I'm glad that you're proud of him because uh, one thing that he hasn't told you is that he failed out of dental school. So he has Don't no tell him that, bro. There he is. I, uh, I, I did not fail out of dental school. He's yeah. fucking with you. I, 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 still, I saw a full day of patience. Uh -huh. 
<laughs> You'll get That's me Jay Singh, ladies and gentlemen, and his doctor dad. Jay Singh, everybody. There he goes. Holy shit. You guys want to go to the bucket one more time, huh? You guys are having fun. We just had a guy have his first kiss. God, did you see his face, by the way? He, he was like shocked. It. He's I'm gonna. He's like about to cry. He's about. He's had like the best night of his life. I'm now. so glad he was facing the uh, live stream camera. Kill we're live Tony streaming on Vimeo.com, and we're also live streaming on true. Facebook. Kill Tony Facebook. I mean, a dad telling him that he's proud to chase his fucking dreams. That was beautiful. That's this show true. is fun. I don't care what you fuckers say. All right, this looks interesting. I, I don't think this person's been on before. Really, have they? No, I don't think so. Looks a little bit so. scary. Yeah. Put your hands together for one word, fig. Here we go, F-I-G, are you here? No? All right, we'll move on. It sounded like a weird name. Is Black that fig? Listed. That's not fig, right? Oh, fucking Newton. Everybody's walking slowly. All right, this looks like a new name. Put your hands together for Handrin CV. Handrin CV. Handrin CV. Here he comes. Oh God, it's not Duncan Trussell. All right, he's the last comedian of the night. How about Handrin CV, everybody? Yeah. Thank you. Uh, right off the bat, I want to say a lot of people think I'm a hipster. Uh, I'm not. I was born and raised uh, at home on a farm in Maine and homeschooled for many years. This is what that's supposed to look like. Uh, they're they're all copying me. Um, I carry a necklace on me at all times. This starts fire. This is a flint and a piece of metal to start fire. This gets through airport security. Because they're not looking for stone, okay? That's something I know, being from Maine, that you fucks don't know. <laughs> Airport security is not looking for stone. Um, I'm from Maine. I moved down to uh, Boston about five years ago from Maine. Uh, don't. Um, <laughs> when I moved down, I sold my car, which was scary, to be like, there goes backup house. And I got a... Uh, I got a bicycle, and that's how I made my way around the city, was riding a bike. And I would go as far as wearing a helmet. Oh, sorry. Basically, I saw a bunch of people with lights get hit by cars, and I thought, how dumb do you feel when you're still fucking blinking on the side of the road? Just like, didn't he see me? You're like, he saw you. That is why he hit you. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Andrew and CV. Very good. This is your first time on the show, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Can I just say, he's been here for a couple weeks, and I constantly think he was Duncan Trussell. There you yeah. go. We thought he was Duncan Trussell, blippity blop. Yeah. Anyway, uh, how long have you been doing stand-up? Uh, seven years. Seven years. Seven. Yeah. All f in Maine? No, in Boston. All in Boston. And uh, two years in Maine, five in Boston. You live here now, or you still live in Boston? Dude, you're not going to believe this. Uh, I live in a school bus. <laughs> I believe it. Yeah. I believe it. Do the kids know? Yeah, that looks like a pedophile. So do you live in the school bus in L.A. or in Boston? I, I've been on tour for, I've been on the road for like six and a half months Well, when now. you live in a school bus, you're always on the road. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. it's a beautiful thing about it. Wow, interesting. That uh, plane thing got me nervous when you were saying you could get it on a plane. Your beard went from Amish to jihadist real quick. <laughs> You ever take a uh, you ever take a uh, a girl back to the bus with you? I'm married. Yeah, we fuck in the bus all the time. Really? Yeah. Really? yeah. What do wow. the kids think? <laughs> is it a uh, is your is your wife black? Do you fuck her in the back of the bus? Oh. Oh. Hey oh. Hey oh. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> hey, good old hey oh. Do you fuck your wife in the back uh, of the school bus? Right? She's a Connecticut Jew. I don't know where that falls in oh, the line. Oh, so she gives of... you helmet. <laughs> it's a sharp bus. He lives in a sharp bus. I met. I did a podcast with him yesterday. Yeah, how, okay, yesterday. okay, okay. How? But how Jewish? How Jewish is she? Like, does she make you pay for uh, getting on the bus every time you get on? <laughs> All right. Do you have like one, one of those little coin change things when she gets on? Like, a little ching 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 ching. Here, take some Jew. All right. Do you ever bust? <laughs> do you ever bust a nut? <laughs> Handrin, you seem like you came from like a good family, right? You have parents that love each other. They're still together in Maine, right? 
they're still together. Yeah. Everything else I don't know about, but they're still together. Yeah. yeah you yeah. don't think they like each other very much? I mean, it's Maine. It's Slim Pickens. They stick together. Huh. Interesting. <laughs> and how long have you been married for? Uh, it'll be a year in May. Wow. Yeah, and were not... you living on a bus when you when she met you and you got engaged? No, no, no. We we met in Boston and uh, we came up with this stupid plan together. Is she also a comic? No, she's a writer. She just works from a laptop. Mm. Yeah, that's so cool. Just... Is there a pl can you she plug in at the, on the bus? <laughs> It's a good question. Do you have electricity on the bus? Do you have a generator? Well, good, great question. Uh, we got That's a uh, solar panel is what we got rocking with some batteries. And, uh, yeah, we, we, she, the, the laptop works. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I hate people that are like that. They're like, yeah, solar power, fucking better for the earth. Like, I don't know. Fuck you, dude. No. Oh, man. You know, yeah. I don't know. There's something about it that just I sucks. love that you have solar panels for your, uh, you know, like little fucking uh, Here's the thing, phone though, chargers. Meanwhile, you're driving a school bus around the country. Oh, yeah. It's diesel. And also, we just have a piss bucket that we just dump wherever we wow. want. Wow. So, That's adorable. <laughs> you throw it on homeless people and be like, ew. <laughs> did, did you take out, like, you know, rows of seats so you have, like, space? Or is it, you still have all the rows of seats in the bus? No, I, like, I gutted the whole thing, built oh, okay. it all. Oh, it's that's great. real nice that's on cool. the outside. Yeah, it looks like shit on the outside, but it's real nice Where do you nice usually park inside. around Los Angeles? Uh, we've been staying with family, yeah, school buses, they don't, you know, just park with a bunch. We've been staying with family down in Mar Vista. There are a lot of RVs down there, people yeah, living right. out RVs yeah. that uh, I don't... Retarded veterans? <laughs> what the I don't appreciate you saying that. <laughs> so retarded. I don't appreciate Schoberg that. is uh, on fire tonight. <laughs> when you guys get in a fight, do you guys go to separate parts of the bus? Dude, I have slammed those school bus doors like so get, hard sometimes. Get out. Get I am no. done with you. Wow. And then I realized, like, oh, I didn't turn the propane off. I got to just make sure you turn I don't want the dog and you to die. Do you so. have tinted windows or do you have, like, tapestries over the windows? or what's we, got, we got tinted and we got some nice drapes. That's great, man. Yeah. That's actually kind of cool. How do you make money? <laughs> great question. Uh... <laughs> I know, that's why I host the number one live <laughs> podcast in the world. <laughs> Fucking fuck. Do you guys know he does this? Um, no, I, uh, I, uh, doing comedy, I've been, I, I book stuff about two months ahead of time, been lining up shows, pay me a little bit, and then I do Postmates in bigger cities. You do Postmates driving a school bus? No, on my bike. We got the bike with us. Oh. I, I ride my bike around. That's how I stay so fucking trim and slim for the podcast listeners. I'm a very good looking man. Um, <laughs> yeah. You guys don't know this. Imagine. Yeah. He, he looks him. like the healthiest member of the Duck Dynasty. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. You look like everybody used the N-word in a Mark Twain book. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> that river was tough, man. That river uh, was tough. How long have you been playing banjo? <laughs> Four string or five string? What are we talking about? Okay. All right, Handrin. Well... I it's mean. like you had a sh whole show of nobody knows how to dress or take showers. That's what this show seemed to be I, today. That's the, that's the early... I stand behind everything I'm wearing right now. I just now. want to give you a quick note. Yeah. It, honestly, it's like your setup is uh, you can trim some lines off that and get right to it. Which everybody one, thinks uh, I, being honest, I'm a like... hipster. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I was homeschooled. That's what this looks like. <laughs> now you're already in. You see, I crushed with it, right? <laughs> Get right into it, dude. Fuck yeah, thanks, man. Also, shave your beards, because they're gross. <laughs> How long have you had your beard for? Uh, I mean, on and off for six, seven years. Do you have ago. a weak chin? Is there something you're hiding? No, Is I'm gorgeous underneath here. Mm. If I shave this off, I got, I mean, that's the thing. Uh, the, the big surprise, I'm going bald. Yeah, that's the other part you guys didn't know. There we go. I, yeah, that's what you're wondering about. Yeah. Uh, but it's. If I shave it all, I'm a better looking Jason Statham, and I don't want that type of pressure. I don't want that. I wish you believed in yourself enough. <laughs> Dear Viver, all the, all the women in the crowd that like a man with a beard, clap your hands. It's a lot of women. There's those a black chick fucking a leprechaun right now. <laughs> all of those women have herpes. <laughs> ah. So do I. That's why I have the beard. Wow. That's Fuck honesty. Me. That's what we need in comedy. <laughs> Very interesting. I'm covering three sores already tonight. <laughs> Jesus. Wow. All right. Well, I mean, <laughs> hand.
Andrin, what scares you? What are you afraid of in life? Like, uh, oh, I'm super claustrophobic. Razor blades. Claustrophobic. Yeah, very. I found that out being in the bus. Yeah. Yeah. If I have to sleep in front of my wife in the bus on the bed in the back, if I sleep in the back and I'm cornered by the back, I wake up freaking out. And that's a thing I didn't know about myself until getting in the bus. Hell yeah. And when you're together with, you know, Mumford and the rest of the sons. Oh, God. I got to have top bunk. Don't fucking give me that shit. Yeah. I bet. All right, Andrin. Well, uh, everything's been good since you moved here to L.A. Chasing the dream. You feel like you're getting shit done. The ladies writing stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everything. You know, I w she had a fucking event at the Beverly Hilton on Saturday night that I went to. Yeah. Got to dress up in a black tie. That was a new thing for me. And How many people gave you a uh, spare change? They just walked by. <laughs> more than you think. More than you think. So is your chick more successful than you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> so she's like a successful writer. I'm no. sorry, that, was that in question from the beginning? That when she uh, pegs you in the ass, is it something you whittled out that? <laughs> great question, great question. Uh, I'll let you know tonight. I'll let you know. Mm. All right, Handrin. It was your first time on the show. It was nice to meet you. There he goes, Handrin CB. Have a great night. Catch him on his school bus. Uh, this is the part where we look at Ryan J. Ebelt's amazing drawing that he drew during tonight's episode. This should be an interesting one since Big J and Jeremiah left. Yeah, it's all part of the book, Kill Tony the Book, available at RyanJEbelt.com. Look at that. He's got a, all in there. Triple E, Big J Okerson, and Louis Jacob. Can you see that? Look at yourself. <laughs> I look like look that, that 19-year-old Mexican Dodger pitcher. I love that, No, dude. Sam, I'm sorry to tell you. That's actually exactly what you look like. <laughs> <laughs> Sam, you have some dates coming up that you want to plug? So uh, the big date that I'm really pushing is uh, Eddie Bravo and I are doing a tinfoil hat comedy night at Cobb's in San Francisco, June 1st, and then June 2nd at the uh, Sacktown Punchline. We could use some support. If you like conspiracies, we're doing a night of fucking comedy and conspiracies. I'd love any support. Thank you guys Sam very much. Sam Tripoli, ladies and, and gentlemen. And I'm so, I'm so proud of both of you guys. This place is always packed. You guys deserve everything and you're And we're getting. so proud of you. Thanks for helping us along the way with all the great advice and the spots and everything. It will never be forgotten. The great and powerful Luis J. Gomez has Skank Fest coming up in New York City, July 14th and 15th with the kickoff party on the 13th. Skank Fest is the biggest comedy festival, I believe, in the world right now. The biggest being it the most the fun and the most important and the coolest. Yeah, yeah, guys. Uh, uh, it's going to be incredible, guys. Grab tickets April 2nd. They go on pre-sale. Uh, we haven't announced anybody, but you save 20 bucks for the VIP passes, so grab them in advance. And I got some dates coming up. I'll be in Atlantic City uh, April 14th through 19th. Yep. Um, and, uh, yeah, a lot of other stuff. GomezComedy.com. GomezComedy.com. Check out the podcast, Legion of Skanks. We Real love you. Podcast. There he is, Louis J. Gomez. Here, have a seat. We're going to take pictures in a second. The great and powerful band leader, Patty Reagan over there, everybody. Come on. Oh, you're going to leave, leave? Chroma Chris, Patty Reagan, anything up? What do you want to plug? Patty Reagan, Chroma Chris. You can check out uh, my band, Drack and the Swamp Rats, is playing April 7th in La Mirada, the Spook Show, 6th Annual Spook Show. Look up all of Pat Reagan's music on Spotify and everywhere where music can be found. We love him. Uh, Joel Berg, Joel Jimenez. Hi. If, oh, uh, I'll be hosting the improv tomorrow with Brian, Tony, Ooh, Joe Rogan, I'm Brody on that Stevens. show. Earl Skakel. Uh, five year anniversary of this show is in this room on June 18th. If you want to know a little secret, I'll tell you a secret. I'm not really, I wasn't going to tell anybody. Bruce Buffer's going to be here to get the fucking thing started. Voice of the UFC, friend of the show. So many gigs coming up for Kill Tony. We're going to Phoenix, Nashville, Las Vegas, San Francisco, probably New York City. Fort Wayne, Detroit. Indiana, Detroit, Michigan, and Fort Worth, Texas. The show you just saw, your favorite little live podcast is coming to your city, so check that out then. Big shout out to Squarespace, ZipRecruiter, and... Blue Apron. Blue Apron. And don't forget Speedweed. Use the code word CHUCKLEPUFFER and save $15 off your I next order. I have so many stand-up comedy gigs coming up. That's all at TonyHinchcliffe.com. I swear to God I'm going to be performing in a city near you. Uh, go check out my website right now for Kill Tony tickets, for stand-up tickets. And if you live in any of the Kill Tony cities, also take note that in almost all those cities, almost all of them, we're doing stand-up shows around those shows. So you can double down, see a Kill Tony, and see all the new stand-up that we've been working on. And uh, I guarantee you're going to have fun with both of those. 
pace yeah. yourself and enjoy it. Uh, to the live audience, thank you so much for coming out. We love you. You mean the world to us. And uh, we'll be out on the front patio hanging out. We'll see you in a little bit. We'll take pictures and high-five each other.